Ah. What can I do for you? Sir, wait, there's somebody running. Who would be running in Breville? Where the hell did they go? There they are, there they are. Who is that? Yes, master. Uh, hello? Ranger? Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I thought he had somewhere to go and hurry. Oh, he does? What the hell is he doing? I think we'll follow this guy for a while, see where he ends up. We are mostly invisible, and it'll be an alright way to train stealth. What is he? Is he just going for a bit of cardio? Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm being overly, uh, overly suspicious. So yesterday, you may remember, we stole from ourselves in order to trick the Imperial Watch into thinking that we were under attack from thieves. It was very confusing. Today, we are taking care of Hieronymus Lex. First, I must steal a letter from Stuart Daryl's desk in Castle Anvil. Then get a forgery made. So we're gonna get. Well, we're not, we're not, you know, in the way of the Dark Brotherhood going to kill him off or anything like that. We are going to get rid of him creatively. And the way we're going to do that is getting him reassigned to one of the nicest towns in <laughs> Cyrodiil. So it's not much of, uh, you know, it's not vengeance or or casting a stone. It is quite literally just Hello. business at this stage. Let's go and have a word with the beggars and see if they can point us in the right direction. Me children will thank you for your help. So I don't think you have children, do you? You can tell me the truth. Uh, tell me where Dara Hill's office is. To be honest, I couldn't give you directions to any special room in the castle. Oh. Anyone in the castle can tell you, though. That'll do. However, I'll tell you for free that there are many secrets in that castle. Oh. There are secret ways and secret people. Find the blacksmith. Find the blacksmith. Okay, thank you, my friend. Wow. And you, my friend. Blessings of Julianus upon you. So, Castle Anvil, we have a little bit of history with. In the sense that, of course, the first thing we ever did in Oblivion was set up our little pirate's guild. To fund the rest of our miscreant adventures out here in Cyrodiil. So, we can actually access the castle through one of those back doors anyway. Via our own pirate cove. Now, what I want to do is actually go and uh, speak to our pirates anyway. Because we haven't been down there in fucking ages. I mean... It's a thousand gold or twelve hundred gold. I'm not really that bothered. Um, do, do I even care at all? I was gonna say we should probably just do it, but how much gold have we got right now? Forty-two thousand. No, I think we're okay. You know what? Forget the pirates. They can keep the money. They can keep it. They've helped us out enough. You know what? Let's be a, let's be let's be a kind pirate to our pirate friends. So find the blacksmith. Well, here we are in Castle Anvil, uh, one of the more pompous castles of. Cyrodiil. It's a nice place, don't get me wrong. It's, it's a very nice little... Uh, it kind of reminds me of uh, Solitude a little bit, especially this area. Uh, what have we got going on here? Does this, this lead anywhere? No, just a well? Okay. 51 acrobatics. Well, well, well. Castle Anvil Great Hall. Oh, very nice. Oh, look at that. God knows how the hell you got someone up there to hang these curtains are. Jesus, talk about bougie. Must I must be the one. Hello. You must be the cat burglar I've been told to expect. Follow me. Uh, sure. Oh, is he the blacksmith? Ah, he must be in line with the thieves' guild, Oren. Okay. Castle Anvil Smithy, that's the guy. Why's he got a weapon on him all of a sudden? Should I be concerned? Okay, here we are. That's a nice place you got here. Must get fucking warm forging in here, though. Jesus, man. Put all these poor tapestries on the... There's something behind here. A secret? Nothing. But a secret behind the portrait? Nothing. Damn it. Castle is full of secrets. They're a goddamn liar. Hello. I want to show me a secret passage within the walls of Castle Anvil. Just let me get closer to Dara Hill's office without being seen by the castle guards. So I already knew this was here. I've broken in here myself m many times before. All right. Well, thank you. Let's carry on then. Not that we have to worry about the guards, but, you know, we'll humor them. We'll pretend we don't have a 105% chameleon spell. Castle Anvil private quarters average. Maybe we haven't been in here. There's another secret way into Castle Anvil. It's no wonder these guys are constantly robbed, huh? Right, head down. Chameleon up. P pillar moved. <laughs> Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. Push the pillar back. Let's hope we don't have to make a quick getaway because I've just, uh, just sealed us in now. That's fine. Right, let me in. Okay, shh. Is this it right there? Handbill. The better counts arms are the softest in Anvil. We wash them after every third customer, no matter how soiled. 
Wow, that's fucking disgusting. Uh, Dara Hill's desk is average. I'd say that's quite a nice desk. Uh, bound helmet tome. List of candidates. I have the letter. Now let's find a forger. So is it ever made clear why Dara Hill isn't giving the Countess the letter? Because they said that Dara Hill isn't giving them over, but they also said that Dara Hill won't help us. So clearly they're not a member of the Thieves Guild. I guess they're just incompetent? I really know. I'm taking a fucking nerd route, though. That's my nerd route now. Okay. Let's chameleon back up just in case that guard sees us. And then back out the secret passage we go. They could have made this quest any easier, huh? Fucking hell. <laughs> Here's a secret passage right into their bedroom. Oh, thanks. Jeez, you've really... You've really sapped the sport right out of that one, Chief. Good lord. I, I would prefer it, honestly, if there were no secret passages. You know, force you to find a creative way through. This is where they need ways to distract the guards. Obviously, you can kind of do that in Skyrim with the throw voice shout. But if there were, like, legitimate ways, to, like, like throwing a Septim or something out of Hitman, that'd be quite... And not that Hitman threw Septims on account of him not being in the Elder Scrolls world. But you know what I mean, like throwing a coin, distract the guards. Oh, Jesus. Hello. This was you smell of death. very much being into the uh, into the hornet's nest there. Okay, good shit. <laughs> Gonna leave with my heist of Castle Anvil via the guard barracks. All right, so who are we going to now then? We've got to find a forger. Um, well, the lady that we spoke to said she doesn't actually know any forgers in Breville. So I guess we'll speak to the guards here in Anvil and see what they know. Hello, don't mind me. Evening. Just a semi-invisible person leaving Castle Anvil. All right. Oh, hello. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, you hear that? The bells ring. I don't know if that's significant. Oh, because it's just turned 10 p.m. I assume. Is that a thing? I mean, it's a thing in my hometown. They used to. I, I, look, I'm from a very small backwards area. Okay, they used to ring the church bells every hour. Right, what am I looking for here? Hello. Penniless Olvis. I like your dining room table. Sure, I have a coin. You know what you've earned at this point. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I guess that's the, uh, so they don't sound like the, uh, you know, when they go like, Thank you, kind sir, randomly and bizarrely. Well, only because I like you. Look for a man known only as the stranger. He lives here in Anvil. Down the road from the chapel of Dibella. Okay. Thank you. The stranger. Blessings of RK upon you. RK now. Wow, we got Julianos. We got RK. What a guy. Is he ordained? Is he allowed to give out blessings like this? It doesn't seem uh doesn't seem wholly appropriate. So there's a man called the Stranger. Oh, sorry, I don't think we know that he's a man yet, do we? There's somebody called the Stranger in this here abandoned house. Okay. Hello? What do you want? Hello. Do I know you? God, you've got a weird face. Uh, can you forge this letter for me? This book speaks about the Grey Fox just randomly. Yeah, why not? Everyone wants to know about the Grey Fox. Grey Fox this, Grey Fox that. He's just a man, not a Daedric Lord. Is he just a man? How do you I've know that? I've heard it all. They say he's immortal because he's led the Thieves Guild for over 300 years. No one ever sees his face. Couldn't he just be an elf? Because he always wears that grey cow. I mean, elf slipper. Oh, and speaking of the grey cow, did you know he stole it from Nocturnal herself? Wow. You'd think he was Saint Nerevar, the way they talk about him. Uh, excuse me. Don't use that name around me. Uh, forge this letter. Hmm. Yes, it can be done. I can change it to give Lex the highest recommendation. I'll need a full day to properly forge this letter. Return then. You don't want like a... And of course, I oh. will expect payment in full at that time. I was going to say, you don't want paying or any, anything? Hmm. Okay, goodbye, a stranger. Hey, you ever consider that a stranger is an anagram of... No, wait, it's not. Ignore me. Right, here we are. No, wait, I actually think it is. Uh, There's no F in there. Uh, not that that's relevant to anything. Spoilers. Right, here we are. Norax. Nor O. <laughs> uh, hello. Your father. I thought you said full day, didn't you? Did I not wait a full day then? That's my bad. Oh, yeah. Only 13 hours, genius. Right. Let's try that again. I know that this is overkill, but I didn't know why I was lagging so much today. Wow. I haven't got anything open this time. I'm here for my letter. Uh, please. Do you have my fee? 
Of course, it was your fee. Here is the new list of candidates. Hieronymus Lex has a glowing recommendation. Oh, thank you. 500 gold. Hmm. The stranger. It's weird how we've never seen him before up until we started the Thieves Guild, is it? Very, very strange. Where are we going then? We've got to go and drop this letter off. Oh, yeah, I remember. To the, uh... To the Imperial Jailer's desk. Or the guard... We've got to sneak it into the guard captain's desk or something like that. Imperial Legion offices. Very easy. Only the height of security for the Imperial Legion. <laughs> Well, I suppose that makes up for it. I suppose you don't really need to lock a door if it's the Imperial Legion headquarters. Nobody's stupid enough to break in. What is he doing? Have you not got anything more important to it? There's a tax money going to waste there. Right, okay. Um, forge list of candidates? No? Oh, Legion Command. Legion Commander's chest. Try that one. Uh, oh, I'll take that. Robe of deflection? Hell yeah. Uh, try, try this. Just what am I doing? What am I? I'm not entirely sure. Just for the Empire. Why, why am I here? Tell me. Uh, I thought we had to... I have to seal this as using the official seal of... Oh! There it is. My bad. Yeah, I was going to say I thought we had to take the letter to the Council of Sunbrunox personally because they specifically said, don't trust the steward to give it to her. Oh, Jesus, we need to get out of here fucking faster. All right, there we go. And I think we're good. Okay. Nice work. Hey, good shit. And now we head all the way back. And Hieronymus Lex is Hieronymus... Le left. 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 Hieronymus Left. This is the best I've got. Hello, Countess? To break into a bedroom and leer over her. Here, I've got a letter for you. This is as bad as a black horse carrier. Yes. Yes. State your business. Milona Umbranox. Hello, madam. I have a letter for I you. I am Milona Umbranox, Countess of Anvil. I hope you enjoy your visit. I trust you will give us no cause to regret our hospitality to strangers. What an incredibly thinly veiled threat. I appreciate that. Why is she so scarred? She's been fist fighting a fucking bear. Uh, I have your letter, madam. You have the Imperial Watch recommendation for my new guard, Captain. Indeed I do. Normally, these missives are handled by my steward, Darahill. Let me see that. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise. Hmm. Hieronymus Lex looks like the best choice. Oh, there you go. I was about to give the position to Darahill's cousin. That's why Darahill was withholding right the letter. There. I'll fill in his name, and you can deliver it to Captain Lex. Thank you, Courier. My steward will tip you. Ah, thank you. Much appreciated. You are dismissed. You too. Where is your steward? Darahill. I'm Darahill. Uh, about the tip. She wants me to tip you? You add insult to injury. <laughs> you cost my cousin a chance at that job. Well, corruption goes both ways, my friends. I also like her amulet, so I'm taking that. Uh, oh, I can't. I'll take a gold then. <laughs> Bye. See you later. I was really hoping we could just take the amulet off of her neck and leg it. That would have been so good. Oh, poor Hieronymus Lex. He has to go to the nicest town in Cyrodiil and retire by the beach as a cushy guard captain in the nicest castle going. Probably at a pay rise, too. What a terrible, terrible shame. Wow. Look at the sun breaking over the Imperial City. That's nice. Right over the top of Akatosh. Wow. Really makes you think. Does anything actually happen in this place? There's a dark brotherhood thing, I think. I'm just trying to, like, the Arboretum, I can't think that anything happens in there. Weird. Okay, oh, somebody says we've got to speak to the lizard, right? In the Temple of the Wongs, he'll give us free training for saving him? We should go and find him. See if that's still a, was that like conjuration training or something like that? So it's not really like we need it, seeing as we are, um, <laughs> we're like master conjurer at this point, but we might as well go and have a look regardless. The fucking hell's the entrance? They moved the door? Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, hello. Uh, lizard. There he is. Julius. My friend, it is good to see you again. Hello. You risked your life to save me, a stranger. I you did. You are truly among the blessed of Arke's children. Oh, thank you. 
Do you want to give me something for them? As a small token of my gratitude. Oh, it's restoration. Please allow me to share with you some of my small store of knowledge of the healing art. Restoration is good because we we need restoration. Bear in mind, as we're between 25 and 50, we can still only cast, what, like, journeyman spells? Restoration seems like such a ball ache to level up. <laughs> what is it, citizen? What is it, citizen? It seems like no matter how much we cast all that restoration magic, it never actually ever... I mean, we've been... I mean, look, we did all that arena stuff. Obviously, all through the game, I've been relying more on restoration magic than healing potions, and still we got fucking nothing to show for it. And again, I guess that's kind of the point. I know I brought this up before, but like... I suppose you get super overleveled if it gave a lot of experience for healing up, given that not dying is kind of a central game mechanic, huh? The fuck is he? Is he one of these buildings? Uh, Hieronymus Lex? Imperial Training Company Warehouse? I wish there was more shit to break into and steal in this game. Like, Imperial Trading Warehouse is so good. Oh, he's in the bloated float. Ah, drinking on the job again, eh, Hieronymus? Oh my god. Well Good lord, don't stand up too fast. Hieronymus. The Imperial Legion is at your disposal, citizen. Well. What seems to be the problem? About that. You're not anymore, pal. I've been reassigned. This is outrageous. The Grey Fox had a hand in this. I know it. I am bound by duty and honor to obey this order. After all these years, he's finally won. He's finally Maybe won. Maybe fate will be kind and deliver him to me in Anvil. Maybe it will. Maybe fate will be kind. I'll leave it I once saw some mud crabs by All right, thank you for letting me know. I steered clear of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it's all these people. Oh, Matthias Draconis, Grauman, Gromorad, and Ormil. It was like the first quest we ever did in this game, wasn't it? On the Blowsid Float. I forgot about that. Greetings. Greetings. Hello. How is everybody? Everybody loves us. I mean, we are pretty great. Right, so we've got to go back and report to Braville now, I assume. we got to let them know that we have... Uh, I guess we'll just go here instead, actually. Got to let them know that Hieronymus Lex has been Let's not really di disposed of. Again, retirement in luxury by the ocean. Oh, how tragic for him. <laughs> Good job, Grey Fox. That'll teach him. Oh, where are you? How let me walk I... after you again. Uh, Literally, like, right here somewhere. Hi. Hello. Ooh. Let's give this lovely lady a kiss. Ah, oh, there you are. Welcome, honored cat burglar. Thank you. That would be Your so steam. peculiar. Be so weird. They'd be like calling someone a man thief. It's a bit, bit strange, isn't it? Hieronymus Lex has been reassigned, by the way. Well done, Hunter. Hieronymus Lex will no longer be a thorn in the paw of the thieves. That's killed. not the expression. The it's Grey thorn Fox in the. Shows his okay. Again, I'm not going to correct Hieronymus. You her. are being promoted to Shadowfoot. Oh. And now use Orn of Castle Anvil as your fence. Oh, strange enough. I met him. Wow. You got any special jobs for me? I have no more jobs for. You have no need of the Doyen to provide you work. Ah. Oh. However, there are rumors that the Grey Fox himself may call on you soon. Wow. Wait for contact from him. Keep the guild fences busy. No problem at all. Keep the guild fences busy. So we've fenced 2,966 gold. I assume we don't need to fence any more. Yeah, there you are. I've reached the goal. I've fenced over 600 worth of goods. When I'm in the cities, I'll keep an eye out for the messengers from the Grey Fox. He should call me at any time. I should wait in the Imperial City if I want them to find me quickly. Well, you might as well just, uh... <laughs> you might as well just slap a fucking sign on your back. Uh, also, it seems to be pointing us to... Armand? Or is it just any of the Doyens, I guess? Like I, Armand or the cat lady we just spoke to whose name escapes me now? Hello. Here's a copy of the Black Horse Courier, new Imperial Watch Captain. Who is the new Imperial Watch Captain? There's Old Vance Ordvidius, there's Hieronymus Lex, Adamus Philida. I don't remember the new guy's name. Uh Quintilius. Servratius Quintilius. Couldn't have thought I could not have named him better myself. That is a fucking phenomenal name. What is it? Is this trying to this is trying to send us to fences, right? Because it's the independent thievery quest, I believe. Well, let's it said wait in the Imperial City. Oh, there we go. The Grey Fox. Methrodil. What is the message? The Grey Fox has a task for you. Meet him at Helvius Cecia's house in Bruma. Helvius fucking Cecia. How has she outranked us, by the way? We annihilated her in that first quest, and now she's she's like apparently a higher rank and is capable of talking to the Grey Fox before we are. Well, or is she? 
Can I just say, I love the Bruma Guard outfit. Look at that. How more stereotypical could you get? I love the fact they're funding that. Hello. How are you? How are you, my friend? Been ready through Bruma much, have we? We haven't done much in Bruma, to be fair, besides uh, a couple of kind of passing visits. The great the fox is waiting for you. No, oh, thank you. Okay. And here we are. Gray, gray fox. Gray fox. We must talk. He's the floor. The gray fox was a sentient floor all along. Where is he? Uh. Ah, oh, there you are. Hello. I see you got my message. Wow, your eyes are remarkably a, a strange angle. We've met a man like that recently. It's <laughs> how does no one see? Sorry. Okay. No, let's not spoil it for those of you who maybe haven't played this. It's an honor to finally meet you. I have need of your special gifts. There is an item hidden away in a remote monastery. I need you to go get it for me. Okay, fine. The monastery is extensive and well guarded, so you should make sure to be well prepared. Should you succeed, I will pay you well for your services. And if I don't succeed, I'll die. So, I mean, it's, uh, sure. Capital. The monastery is called the Temple of the <laughs> Ancestor Baths. It is where retired blind moth priests go to I need to start using that days. in my regular day to day life alongside heaps of thanks. Location on your map. Capital. In the far northeast of Cyrodiil, beyond, beyond Chadenhall. Chadenhall. I need you to acquire Sevilla's stone. Okay. It's a large crystal with special properties that I need to gain advantage. Right. Remember, do not shed innocent blood. Okay. However, there is no blood price for slaying the stone's guardians, human or inhuman. Excellent. When okay. I receive word that Sevilla's stone is missing, I will be here. Waiting for you. Okay, this sounds like a hell of a heist, huh? Shadow hide you. Shadow hide you too. I mean, Shadow literally hide me. Okay, so we get to break into a monastery that's heavily guarded. Uh, and if we survive, he'll pay us. <laughs> what a fucking shit deal. Oh, Gaynor, I wonder where you got to. You were here worshipping Azura? Well, uh, I'm not going to... I'm not going to criticize your religion choices. That's probably deeply personal to Gaynor. And if he wants to worship Azura, he's more than welcome to, okay? Don't judge him for that. So somewhere over here. Oh, I assume that's it right there. I assume that church that just popped in is uh, probably the church that we're after. Okay, then. The Temple of the Ancestor Moths. Uh, hello? Where do we want to go, then? Maybe I can persuade one of the monks to help me. Monk quarters. <laughs> break, break in. They'll never see it coming. Uh, what about in here? Whoa, fucking good god, brother Hurdy. What can this peaceful monk do for you, stranger? Uh, I want to see Sevilla Stone. I've never heard of it. Why do you ask? Oh, yeah. I'm listening. He's never heard of it. Excellent. How much nice. gold? How nice. It's just for me... Thanks. That was a fortune. Tell me about Sevilla Stone. I've never heard of it. Oh, Jesus. A blind monks? We serve the retired moth priests from the Imperial City. The work they do leads to progressive blindness. They live in utter darkness in the secret catacombs. Of course, it doesn't affect them because they're blind. <laughs> Nothing gets past you, huh? Already? May you always wear soft silks. What a fucking guy. What a fucking guy. What I mean by that is what a fucking moron. I heard his brother. Yeah. What can this peaceful monk do for you, stranger? Uh, why have you dyed your eyebrows? Maybe he's not old and he dyes his hair. Tell me about Sevilla Stone. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, do Go you, ahead. though? Right, Every let's try again. I have no, he genuinely doesn't. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. If you'll excuse me, I have a monk to talk to. Hello? Fuck. Brother Holger. What can this peaceful monk do for you? One of the many monk triplets. Go ahead. Have some gold. Thank you. Sevilla Stone. I really shouldn't be telling you this, but I Plus it would be the last guy that we bribe. The blind monks in the catacombs guard the stone. Aha. Uh -huh. It's said to have magical powers. Oh. Don't tell Hridi I said anything. I could be banished for telling you. Hridi. Well, all right then. I'll show you. 
He's gonna show Please us. Be discreet and don't bother the other monks. Okay, fine. What a moron. May you always wear soft silk. You two. What exactly are you hoeing there? Ready? What can they I've got to tell you about. No, no, no. It's fine. Fuck off. May you always. Gainal, stand guard. And if they get out of line, kill them. Uh, is this what he's going to show us? This building right here? You mean the only other building we haven't been to yet? What a shocker. Okay. Is he going to unlock it for us? Ancestor Moth Crypt. Now, to be fair, a chameleon spell isn't really going to help with the Ancestor Moths, is it? On account of them bl being blind, uh, it's, it's not the most ideal spell we've got going for us. So we're going to have to sneak and rely on, I guess, sound to avoid them. There are torches in the barrel. Thank you. See you later. Torches in the barrel or in here. Oh, there are. So what the hell are we going to do then? We haven't got like... Is there even a muffle? Oh, good lord. The great fox hinted that the true guardians would not be subject to blood price. But that also means they won't be too happy to see me. We've been over this. They're blind. Okay. I suppose I don't really care about a chameleon spell. I'll do it anyway, just in case the game has some weird... Maybe, like, the game has some weird, you know, programming where 100% chameleon means you're immune to detection or something weird like that. Couldn't hurt to try, huh? I think sound is going to be our enemy here. And I don't know that there are any muffle spells in Oblivion. Okay. A couple of monks in there. God, this is so stereotypical, isn't it? Where are you? Oh, no. God, it's so horribly stereotypical. Blind monks with katanas. I'm pretty sure there's literally that exact character in Mortal Kombat, if I'm not mistaken, right? Can she? Nice. Oh, fuck. I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, this is giving me all sorts of Big frightenings. Okay. Maybe a detect life spell, huh? What do you think? Detect life, detect life. Deathly visage. That's no use. Uh, minor life detection. That's shit, but it's better than nothing. Okay. Okay, okay. Things are going fine. Okay, I can't see anyone. Oh, there's someone on the other side of this door. Look, we can see him there. Okay, sneak mode. Fucking hell. hell. Who's there? No one. Guess it was nothing. <laughs> this is fucked. This is fucked. This is one of the best quests in Oblivion, in my opinion. So let's enjoy it while we've got it. Ah. Oh. Okay, old wooden door, average. I would like to point out, living in complete darkness would be very, 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 very cold. It would be, like, staggeringly cold. Uh, especially down here. What's our chameleon spell? There's a rat down here, so I'm gonna do one of those. Like, it would be disturbingly cold living down here with no torches or anything else. So I don't know what the fuck these guys were thinking. Let's take that quickly. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And we've got Catacombs of the Temple of the Moth. Here we are. Now, they did say human or inhuman, which may imply that there are more than just... They're blind. <gasps> I'd better be down on the air. <laughs> Gotta cut down on the ale. Starting to see things, I am. Just in case you didn't quite catch that voice line. Very good, Bethesda. You've fucking done it again. What the hell's in here? Oh, is this the way? Oh, this is the way we're supposed to go. Sorry, I thought we'd gone the wrong way then. We can steal from a blind man. That's where we've got to. Although, to be fair, the Grey Fox is like, yeah, you can fucking kill him. You can fucking kill him. There's no blood pr price for retired monks. Shit, I think that probably should be, pal. If you haven't got a problem with murdering, you know, they'd be like, oh, don't kill any of the guards or whatever. 
Fucking blind monks are their open season. He's got some weird morals, that man. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's their bedroom. Luckily, it's daytime. How would they know? <laughs> their sleep schedules must be all sorts of fucked. Okay. Okay, here we go. Strong potion of the sea. It's a vial of seawater. Mmm. Shh. Here we are. Caverns of the moth. Have we got to come all the way back out here? Because that's going to be horrible. Fucking horrible. Okay. Here we go. I had to take life spell, which will be nice around now, but I kind of like the tension. Don't know about you guys. I like the idea of turning a corner and bang! Moth. When I say moth, I mean like man, not like... Nice. Good dodge. That must really fuck him up, though. The moth priests. They can't see the tripwires everywhere. Probably shouldn't jump around. That's probably... Ooh... Skeletons don't have ears. Now, the skeletons don't have eyes, so how do they see you? Answer me that one, science. Because sneaks get what for sneaking past a skeleton? I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, it's a room full of spikes, because of course there would be. Again, this is a fucking hazard if you're blind. I assume they don't need this stone very frequently then, huh? Christ, this is... Oh, God, this is a nightmare. There we go. Okay. There's a skeleton or something around here. I can hear it. Okay, let's heal up. God, this is high tension, huh? What is that? Oh, it's a it's a wraith. Okay. Come on, chameleon spell. Whenever you're ready. Boom. Alright, good work. We should get bonus for killing nothing at all during this quest. I deserve it. My guys, there's another fucking door. Shrine of the Moth, Caverns of the Moth, Cave of the Moth. Good God, Vomitorium of the fucking Moth. How many more fucking mothy places do you want me to go to? This is ridiculous. Okay. This has got to be it, right? This has got to be it. There's got to also be no one down here. Oh my God, there's a fucking person down here. How can there be a person down here? What do you eat? What do you do all day? I'm not going to kill them if we can avoid it. Don't know why a chameleon spell. Again, they're blind. Oh, no. That's a sentry. Can I get it to shoot the moth, do you think? That'd be quite funny. Good dodge. Good dodge. Good Hello? dodge. Who's there? No one. Hello? Got it. Who's there? What a guy. He can't be stopped. Okay. Uh there's a there's a path over in that direction and the other direction too. I wanna know where they lead to. Quicker ways out, perhaps? That'd be bloody nice, wouldn't it? That'd be novel. Could you imagine? Okay, book it. Oh, it's a, it's a fucking ladder. It's a spooky ladder. Where do you go, spooky ladder? Temple of the Ancestor Moth. What? That was here all along. That was here all along. Fucking fantastic. Gain all. Go. My god, that horse is driving itself. <laughs> That seems that that seems like a joke I would have made before. Uh and I apologize if I have, but it's just so good, isn't it? Bruma Easter Gate. Alright, good work. Well that was high tension, but we fucking did it without so much as even drawing our weapon. How are you today? True Thieves Guild style. And our hundred percent invisibility made no difference because they're blind. Despite the fact that one guy said <laughs> I need to cut down on the drink. I'm seeing things. Brother, by the sounds of it, you need to fucking drink more. We must talk. 
I think I found the cure. Hello, Grey Fox. I hear the monks were most hospitable. Yes, they were. All very good. Here's the stone. My sources tell me that Sevilla's stone has gone missing. Do you have it with you? No. Someone must have beaten me to it. Capital! Now I can see past the palace defenses. Capital! It's a good thing the Emperor didn't know they had this stone. He would have had it destroyed or taken it from them and kept it under lock and key in the palace. When I have learned what I need to know, I will call for you again. Let us leave Helvius's house now. He has served me well and deserves his peace. Yes, he does. What a fucking guy. I've always said Helvius is Shadow my favorite Knight. character in Oblivion. Haven't I always said that since the first episode? I was like, I can't wait to meet Helvius because he's my favorite character in Oblivion. Oh! I need at least 700 gold worth of stolen goods to get his attention. Hello? You wear the shadows well, fellow thief. Thank you, Helvius. See you later. Shadow hide you. What a day. That was a hell of a... That's like the best heist in Oblivion, in my opinion. That was fucking... Oh, I mean, that was capital. What can you say besides capital? Heaps of thanks. Sorry, was that supposed to be a shooting star then? Did you see that? Was that fucking Falcor? <laughs> 